Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the Verizon credit card. Yes, Verizon, the mobile phone service, they now have their own credit card. And the great thing about this credit card or the main perk of getting the Verizon credit card is that it allows you to have a discount for every line that you have on your Verizon plan. Now, before we go too deep into the details about the Verizon credit card, you must know that in order to apply for the Verizon credit card, you do have to be a Verizon customer. That means you either have to be an account owner or an account manager within the plan that you signed up for. So for instance, if you have a family plan, you may have three or four lines. The main person who set up the line, they are the account owner, but you can also set up account managers on your line who can actually manage the plan and they can call in and make any changes for the plan. So only those two individuals or types of individuals on the plan can actually apply for the credit card. And so as far as the biggest perk, getting the discount on your phone plan, when you have auto pay and paperless billing set up and you're auto paying using the Verizon credit card, you can get up to $10 off per line. And so if you do have a family plan where you have, let's say four lines, that means you can get up to $40 off your total phone bill by applying for the Visa credit card and then using that Verizon Visa credit card to auto pay your phone bill. And this is eligible for up to 10 lines on your plan. So if you have 10 people in your family plan, then you can get up to $100 off on that phone bill. So for some, that alone would be reason enough just to sign up for the Visa credit card. If you can save yourself 10, 20, 40, maybe even $100 every month just by using that Verizon credit card and using that for auto pay instead of whatever you use now, whether it's your debit card or your own credit card with another company, that may be reason enough just to get the Verizon credit card. But of course, there are more reasons to sign up for the Verizon credit card and I'll talk about those now. Now the Verizon Visa credit card is issued by Synchrony Bank. And of course, since it is a Visa card, you can use this card anywhere where Visa is accepted. And so not only is it a great discount on your phone bill, it is also a really good cashback credit card. And if you've watched any of my past videos, you know I like cashback credit cards and I like using cashback apps and stockback apps with my cashback credit cards in order to stack the amount of cashback that I'm receiving on every purchase that I make. And so with the Verizon Visa credit card, you can get 4% cashback at grocery stores as well as gas stations. And so for most people, and I'd say everybody, you have to eat, you have to buy groceries. And so that's a great perk to get 4% back every time that you go to a grocery store. And for most people as well, although not everyone, you will need to buy gas for your car. So unless you have an electric vehicle or you live in an area where public transportation is actually the better option for you. But right now, a lot of people are choosing not to use public transportation because of the global pandemic that's going on at the moment. Then more people are actually driving, which means more people are now needing to buy gas. And so getting 4% cash back on gas, especially if you have a long commute, that's great cash back compared to any credit card that is available. Now, in addition to that, you get 3% cash back whenever you use it at a restaurant, whether you're eating in or taking out. You get 2% back on any of your Verizon purchases. So if you purchase an item in a Verizon store, you get 2% back on those items. And then you get 1% cash back on all other purchases. And there are also no foreign transaction fees. So if you use your Verizon Visa card when you're traveling internationally, you won't be charged any additional fees for that. And then there's also no annual fee for owning the card. And so even without the discounts on your Verizon bill, this is actually a pretty solid cashback credit card just by itself. And so just like with any credit card company or any cashback app or anyone that's gonna give you some type of perk for using their system, using their rewards program, using their cashback via the credit card, the reason that they do this is to try to get more data. And so Verizon, they wanna get more data on their customers in order to advertise better for them, in order to offer them different things. And so this is why Verizon has decided that they're gonna get a credit card of their own. So if you already use credit cards on a regular basis, then you're already doing this. You're already giving those credit card companies your spending data. And so this isn't any different from Verizon versus any other credit card company. So what can you do with the cash back that you earn? The cash back that you receive via the Verizon Visa credit card is given to you in Verizon dollars. And so those Verizon dollars can be used to buy products 
through Verizon or also to pay your Verizon bill. And so this is another way to lower your phone bill just by using the cash back that you receive from grocery shopping, buying gas, going out to restaurants, and anything else you may use your card for. You can now use that to actually pay your bill or either buy accessories or buy a new phone with the cash back you receive from your Verizon credit card. And so in addition to the discount that you receive, if you use your Verizon credit card for auto pay and also choose paperless billing, essentially you could get further discounts on your Verizon bill if you only use your cash back to pay for your bill. And so the average phone bill is around $140 per month. And so if you were to spend about $1,000 per month, that's including groceries, pretty much all of your spending or anything that would add up to that amount, that means that every month, at the bare minimum, meaning the 1% cash back that you get on all purchases, you would be getting $10 per month in Verizon dollars that you could use towards your bill as well. And so that's another $10 per month that you could get as essentially a discount on your Verizon bill just by using your Verizon credit card for all of your purchases. And if you happen to have a huge family and you spend $1,000 a month just on groceries and gas or just on groceries, then that means you could get up to $40 off of your phone bill by using the cash back that you receive from the $1,000 per month that you're spending in that specific category. So if you spend about $1,000 per month outside of your mortgage, whether it's your groceries, any type of shopping you do, anything that you use that Verizon credit card for, if it adds up to $1,000 per month, then that's a guaranteed 10 up to $40 per month that you're getting in cash back that you can now use towards either your bill or maybe even towards a phone that you wanna get. And so instead of paying that 10 or $20 per month to get whatever the latest phone that has come out or $40 per month it's, if it's one of the top of the line Android or iPhones, then you could basically have your cash back pay for that device. And so there are a few catches with this card. Like I mentioned, there are some great features, but there are certain things that you have to make sure that you do or make sure you're on a certain plan in order to be eligible for the phone discount. But with the cashback, you're eligible for that. As long as you apply and get approved for the Verizon credit card, then all of the cashback offers, those are available to you no matter what. But as far as the discounts on a phone plan, you do have to have a specific phone plan in order to get either $10 off per line or $5 off per line. And I'll have three links in the description, one just giving the general overview of the Verizon Visa credit card, and then two other links on the FAQs about the actual phone bill that you have to have, and then an FAQ on more details about the Verizon credit card if you wanna read that. But postpaid plans as well as prepaid plans are eligible, but all of the prepaid plans, they're only eligible for $5 off per line when using your Verizon credit card. And so if you already have Verizon, make sure you check the plan that you're on currently. That way, if it's not one of the plans that is eligible for the discount, or if it's only a $5 discount, and maybe that's not enough for you in order to just get the Verizon card only to pay your phone bill, then you wanna double check that that discount is worth it to you. Because with the average phone bill being about $140, which that is probably a two line plan, I would assume, because just one line alone wouldn't add up to $140, then that means you could potentially get $20 off every month on a $140 phone plan, and that is about a 15% discount. And I would imagine for most people, if you get that $10 off, that means you're getting at least a 10% discount if your plan happens to be $100. Most plans after you consider taxes and fees range from about $50 per line up to maybe $70 per line, depending on what plan you choose. And so if the average is $50 per line, that's a 20% discount and that's a really good discount. And that's not even considering any of the cash back that you're gonna earn, which could also be used towards your phone bill, giving you a much higher discount on your phone bill. However, even without that discount, this is actually a pretty solid credit card, cashback credit card on its own. So even if you don't use it to auto pay your Verizon bill, or if you have a one of the older plans that's not eligible for the discount, then just using your credit card as you normally would to earn cash back, especially on groceries and gas, two of the categories where you're gonna spend a lot of money, then this is a really, really good credit card. You have to buy groceries at some point because you have to eat unless you eat out all the time. And if you happen to eat out all the time, then you're getting 3% cash back instead of 4%. And if you have a car and it's not an electric vehicle, then that means you're buying gas and that's a 4 
4% cash back. You can essentially think of that as a discount on your phone bill or a discount on any future phones that you wanna buy on your plan. So if you've watched any of my past cash back videos, I have some cash back stacking videos where I talk about the different ways I use cash back credit cards, cash back apps, and stock back apps to multiply the amount of cash back that I receive on all of the purchases that I make using a credit card. And so if you haven't seen that, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Make sure you check out those videos. That way, if you sign up for this card or if you already use any cashback credit card, you can take advantage of using that cashback in addition to getting more cashback using cashback apps and stockback apps. So what do you think about the Verizon Visa credit card? Is this enough for you to switch to Verizon? Or if you already have a Verizon plan, is this enough for you to sign up for the Verizon Visa credit card to get that phone discount every month in addition to the cash back that you can receive when you use it for your normal purchases? All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.